In this video, I'm going to show you how to put pictures side by side. Sometimes you have pictures in the same condition, but there's one variable between them, and then you want to show the effect of that variable. You have to show pictures side by side, and then they can see, all right, there's a difference between them. How do we do that in Word, in our report? Let's just say I want to show these two pictures side by side and not figure two and then figure three, but I want them to be figure whatever, but A and B of that figure. Let's have a look. All right, so let's just say I'm going to add it here. The best way to do that is to drop these two pictures inside the table. Okay, that is the best way of doing this. Now, you're going to add your table and do whatever you want how many cells that you want i want i want two pictures i'm going to give it a i don't know three four rows okay these rows are going to be useful and if there's too many of them we can delete that later okay now i want one picture to be here in this cell and i want the other one to be in the cell on the right okay um where is my picture let's just say i want to take this picture control c this one and control v it here or you can drop it the same way that we did or by dragging and dropping or you can go to insert and go to the picture and then you can drop a picture from here okay so this is my picture but it was slightly too big compared to the size that that, that i had that's why this line the middle line is pushed to right so what i'm going to do i'm going to Make this a little bit smaller. Okay. Don't worry about the size for the time being. We will come back and make it look nice. Okay. Now, for this one, I'm going to drop the second picture. Control V. And Control C. All right, so these are the two pictures that I have. I want this one to be picture A. And no, thank you. Please don't number that. Control Z. Sometimes Word will think that you're going to do numbering. And after writing A and parenthesis, I pressed space. It reformatted again. You control Z that it will erase that auto formatting. Okay. So this is B. Okay, good. And so these two rows are not required so what i'm going to do i'm going to select the two rows okay extend it to the right when you have these little blue squares here on the right side that means you've selected the row okay not the cell but the row okay if you do that you can just right click on it and then you can say delete row okay those are gone now i want everything in this table to be centered so you'll select them you'll go to home center all of them and now I have my picture A and B but I need a figure number how do I do that I'm going to select on the table this four-way arrow that you see okay select on that right click on it and then it says insert caption I'm going to insert caption you're going to select fig it's going to set figure and we're going to go below the item there you go. It goes there. Center that to figure four. Press at 11.79 degree C. But a low resolution. B high. Resu resolution. There we go. Now, do I need these border, these lines that are dividing my cells in my table? No, I don't need them. So you're going to select that the table. You're going to go to layout, or no, go to design, and then it says border here. Then you can say no border, and it'll look like this. Now, one more thing, you're going to make sure that these two images are, they, they look at least the same. Okay? You're going to make it look nice. You can play with these manual changing, but it won't help. Go to your picture format, 
and then give it a nice number. I want the heights to be the same. I'm going to go to the heights. I'm going to make this two inches and I'm going to make this one also two inches. I could make it a little bit bigger, but it doesn't really matter. Let's say 2.1. And then this one, I want it to be 2.1. There we go. All right, looks nice. You can reference this figure number the same way that I explained in the previous video. That is it for this one.